Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp build video. Today I'm going to be building a bar, tavern sort of thing, with lodging and a brewery in the back. That's what this is. Um, it was inspired by this picture that I found on Pinterest. Um, somebody on my uh, Discord server community suggested that I use Pinterest as inspiration because I was actually uh, running out of inspiration for new builds and that's why there wasn't one last weekend because I just had no inspiration <laughs> so I didn't have a build last weekend but so I did I went on Pinterest I found lots of ideas and this is the first one I decided to try um, also another viewer of mine suggested that I do make a bar tavern sort of thing with a brewery so to sort of go with the new Nuka Shine quest that they added recently so so I thought those were good ideas, and this is what came of that. Now, I wanted this to look a little bit more, um, I don't know what how you'd say, just more post-apocalyptic than some of my other builds have. And I don't know, I think, I think I managed it um, as good as I could without tons of decoration. I mean, as it is... There's as much decoration as I could put in here. The build budget for this is completely maxed, 100%, but it is heavily decorated, and I will show you that. So anyways, first I will give you an outside tour. We've got, obviously, a windmill generator there. Um, covered porch where you can sit and have a smoke or whatever. Um, now here we have got the ice, ice box, and here is the water purifier. And this tower kind of looks like, like it, it kinda made it kind of look like a granary. It's not. It's actually where the lodgings are. But um, it was the aesthetic on the outside that I was going for the most. And back here we've got um, the bathroom facilities. And up top, because I couldn't make a, <clears throat> I couldn't make a, ladder go up all the way to the top of this because you know it's so small the ladder wouldn't fit so I made one coming up on the outside and apparently I forgot to close the door earlier <laughs> and in this area is the granary uh, not the granary sorry the uh, the brewery yeah and I had to use um, metal piece went pieces for the windows because the wood pieces, the half walls, don't have windows in them for some reason. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go inside. So we've got a bar on the inside and this is the most decorated room in the whole place. Um, so I just used the bookshelf uh, as a bar and I put you know them together close together um, I've seen other people do it this way and you know until they give us an actual bar that we can use then this is <laughs> what we'll have to do they actually some data mined images that somebody got um, of a new bar that's being gonna be released eventually um, it's cool but it's a very fancy bar it's I think it's the same one that's um, used in like the White Springs um, train station I think it's the same bar anyways it wouldn't look good in this build because I'm trying to make it look more post-apocalyptic but anyways <laughs> anyway so over here we have a little uh, band area and uh, that's the new poster from the new sheep squatch uh, quest and also the <clears throat> the animal head is from that as well. I earned that by completing the second stage of the quest. I don't know if you earn the same um, plans. Uh, like I earned the wolf head the first time and the um, red stake head the second stage after completing the second stage. I don't. I have only done it once, so I don't know if it's the same for everybody. But anyway, that's where I got that one. <clears throat> and the pickaxe sign that was way way too expensive and took me way way too long to earn Adams for <laughs> yeah anyway and those um, swags up there 
are from the Fashion Act event. Yeah, so if you didn't do any of that, there's no other way to get them, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I might have an extra... I don't know if I have an extra one of those, but yes, yeah, so people do have extras, so if you don't have them and can't get them, ask other players and they might have some extras. <clears throat> so back here we have the kitchen, which, you know, my, my typical um, kitchen counter made out of the... <laughs> chemistry station so and a little food prep area and back here I have a work weapons bench and the lodgings for the owner of the bar which I suppose would be me I just hate it that they didn't put pillows on these beds I mean what's up with that couldn't they put a pillow on there <sighs> anyways <laughs> up here we've got a room for rent if there's anyone who wants a room for rent visitors can come and stay here now these rooms are a little bit more sparsely decorated like I would have liked to have put a picture on the wall or um, like a dresser here or something like that but my like I said my bill budget is completely maxed out and I really wanted to get most of the decoration in <clears throat> in this main room so I decorated completely how I wanted it to look in here before I did anything else and then there just wasn't enough room left to do everything else that I wanted to do but it's all right I got the main room done and this is the brewery and we also grow the crops here for the brew <laughs> uh, the corn and the razor grain needed to make alcoholic beverages and um, I also got the Tinker's workbench and the uh, armor one down there. <clears throat> and there's a pump for getting the dirty water needed to make boiled water, which you need to make the alcoholic beverages. Anyway, got the brewing station and the fermenter here, which are also from the Nuka Shine questline. If you haven't started it yet, some people might not have started it yet and want to know where they get that. You get it by starting the Nuka Shine questline in Morgantown. Um, you just read, uh, there's some posters um, there that you can read to um, start that quest. Anyways, all right, well, you guys, that's the tour. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to show you how to build this thing. So this is the location without a building in it. And I forgot, I just remembered that I forgot to show you what it looks like on the map, or where we are. We are right here, um, just down from Vault 76. Um, the um, Pawnee cabins are right, not too far away. I know I had a camp around here not too long ago. Um, yeah, anyway, there we are. And I'm currently standing on the road. Uh, the vault is up from that direction. And you'll find this little trail. There's sort of like this big clearing in the trees. It's pretty wooded right here. And you'll find this big clearing suddenly. And there'll be this little windy path that comes off the road. And it kind of winds around like this for some reason. And then it goes straight for a ways. And right here is where I'm going to build. It's where I did build. I built right here in this area. And um, as you can see, my camp unit is right here. Okay, anyways, let's get on with this. All right, so before we do anything, I'm going to uh, move my camp unit out of the way because it is right in the middle of where I want to build. I'm going to put it over here for now. And then um, I want to get it I want it so this is a, a little road basically and I kind of liked how it was on the corner of the road so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to put it on the corner so <clears throat> okay so this see this white bush right here this flower um, I want to put, I mean, you guys can, you know, obviously put it wherever you want, but I want to put it so that that white bush is not, um, bulldozed away, but that it's very, very close to 
my porch. This this will be the porch. First one we're putting down here. Now I'm going to put it so that it's parallel with the straight road. Okay. Approximately. Parallel with the straight road and so that this gap between the small flower and the big flower is sort of right in the middle. That's how I um, am lining this back up with the way I had it when I originally built this. Because as you guys probably know, I built it, um, decorated it, did the tour, and then I take it down and rebuild it again for you guys. That's just the way I prefer to do things. So I try to line it up exactly where I had it the first time and somebody asked me once um why do i just leave why don't i just leave the first piece in so that i don't have to do the lining up later well i want to show you guys how i do my lining up because you might want to duplicate this exactly the way i'm doing it and if you don't know where to put the first piece then usually the rest of it won't fall into place so that's why i do that Okay, now before we yeah, put more on, I want to uh, make sure this one is the right height. Now, the height, it's going to, it, it raises up a little bit there in the back. So you want to make sure you don't put it down too low. I mean, this is a pretty flat spot, so you could, you know, you could put it like right down like this, but then you'll end up sinking into the ground back there so raise it up um i'm not sure exactly how far i should raise it you can test it though before you put any walls on make sure you um get all the floors in so we're going to put four floors going this direction and that's the porch <clears throat> and then there will be two more rows after that, which will be the inside of the tavern. Oops. I am so glad they made the bulldozing feature. How many of you guys are just so thankful for the bulldozing feature? I mean, that was probably the best thing they have added to this game since it came out. Don't you agree? It is a lifesaver. I wouldn't be able to build in this location otherwise because there's so many bushes in the way. Anyway, I didn't pick this particular spot for any particular reason, um, except one, and that is it was big enough. <laughs> I didn't pick it for its location. I picked it for the fact that it was large, flat spot. I didn't really care where it was. So a build like this, though, if you want to attract actual customers to it and you know people to visit, you might want to put it right next to a road in a you know a frequented area. I don't do that for my builds just because I don't want to have visitors while I'm recording videos. That is the only reason. Anyway, after that, we're going to put one um, right here on the end, on this side. Now this is where you, can, you need to test to see if you've got your floor high enough. And as you can see, I do not. So you need to redo it. And the easiest way to redo it is to take off that one and just raise this one up until it's good and until it's you know poking up um far enough so that it doesn't clip into the ground and then this one back now we're going to put um make sure it's not clipping in right here as well it's not it's 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 poking up, so it's, it's good. That's the highest spot in this location, so. And then once we uh, do that, we can raise the other ones up. Once you got that all, you can figure it out. Now, the reason why I didn't place that low one first <clears throat> is because there wasn't a way to line it up very well over here like if i had placed this one first um i wouldn't be able to tell very easily if it was parallel with that little trail and i thought it was just easier if i lined the build up with this because i do want this to be straight parallel with the the trail and 
so that's why. In case you were wondering. <laughs> now we are going to put um, nine more right here. So three by three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, don't really need it to be three by three. We're going to be taking these out, so you don't really need to put one in the middle. <clears throat> All right. Um, we're going to be taking out the um, these ones because we're going to be having the bare ground. So I don't. My build budget doesn't allow me to have um, all of them. <clears throat> but anyways, there you go. All right, that is the floor. So now we can start putting on walls. And for this build, I did. I decided to use three different uh, types of wall just for the contrast um the front obviously you might have you probably noticed the front was made out of the um warehouse pieces and then the the tower was made out of the barn pieces and the back part was made out of the wood and you can guys you guys can do it with whatever pieces you want but anyway i i wanted the kind of uh three-tone look <laughs> just to make it different so we're gonna put a door and then each of the front pieces is going to have a window in it. So one window, a door, and then two windows. Alrighty. And then the rest of this part is not going to have any windows. Uh, whoops. No, don't. There, make sure it's facing the right way. Um, then there's a door in, on this part. Actually, yeah, make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. Okay. And a door, I mean, a wall here. And a door here. Like this. Come on, go in. Workshop. Oh, that's right. That's because. Um. It's because, yeah. I accidentally. Well, I mean, I, I didn't accidentally. I built that. If you notice, if you heard the cash register sound, yeah, because when I originally built this, I deleted them um, so that I could build other things later. And so that's why, and since my build budget was completely full, it uh, wouldn't let me build them again. But you guys obviously will be starting with a fresh build budget, so you probably can put them both in that you don't need to because you're going to be taking them out anyways um you can just move them around but <clears throat> like like i'll show you i'll build that part next so what we want to do now is this part is going to be made out of the um wood so put now these are going to be this part is going to stay these floors are going to stay that's the platform where we put um the workbenches, but the other walls that we're putting around on the outside here are not, um, I mean, they're going to be all going down to the ground. So these foundations that I'm building on right now are not going to stay here. And as you might have seen in one of my other videos, to take the foundations out, you have to replace the walls with a door. So just go around and do that. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I'm uh, doing my buttons out of order here. Come on. Do it. There you go. Okay. And then once you have the doors in, then you can move the foundation. And that's why you don't really need all of them to be built, because you can just move it over and then put in a wall. Like so. And then uh, just delete the walls. And if you want to heavily decorate yours like mine, I suggest completely scrapping the walls instead of uh, the 
I mean the foundations rather, instead of storing them because you won't need them again and um, yeah, they use up a lot of build budget. Okay, then you have to go back and turn all of these into solid walls again. And once you do that, scroll down to... Or wait a minute. Don't scroll down. Scroll up there. Okay. Once you do that, you can put in the um, half-sized walls underneath. You can't put the half-sized walls underneath if they are still doors. So if you're trying to put them down and they won't go in, chances are it's because it's still... The one above is still a door and they won't go in if it's still a door. If it is a door and they won't go in, then there's probably something under the ground or nearby that it's colliding with for some reason. Anyway, that is that. Okay, now let's go over to this part and we'll do the red tower. Now, of course, we are going to be using um, the red barn pieces. Um, of course, you know, you can do whichever ones you want, you can use whichever ones you want. Now this one's not going to have windows, so just stick them all in there pretty quick like that. And then, um, stairs. I'm going to put in one of these, um, stairs, stair frames, the one with the just stair envelope side, up against the wall, like so. And then make the upper floor. And this will also extend out like this to be the roof and the porch roof. Like that. So this is going to be the flat part of the roof that the uh, windmill generator stands on. Okay, now we're going to do the walls here. And for the rest of the walls, we are going to use the half size ones. All the way around. Come on. It's not floating. Go in. It's not floating. Oh my gosh, seriously? What? Oh my gosh, this game. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Okay. Um, I think I'm doing this right. I'm not positive though. Um, we want... Oh. <laughs> okay, that one. This wall needs to temporarily come out so that I can put this wall in facing the right direction. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. And then put this one back in. And it will... It's facing the right direction, too. Okay, there. <clears throat> now, this is annoying. Why won't that go in? It's intersecting with an existing object. Only it's not. <laughs> uh, okay. Will a full-sized wall fit there? I'm just curious. Will a full-sized wall go in? No. Okay, what is it... What is it intersecting with? The stairs? It didn't last time I built this. Huh. That's odd. <sighs> okay, I'm going to... I'm going to see if it's the stairs. In order to do that, I have to take the floors off. Okay, you have to take the walls off too. Uh, whoops. In order to um, take this, those stair frames out, you have to take all your walls off. Oh, stop it. Get in there the way I want you to. Come on. 
It's such a finicky, finicky game. Okay, put them up there. How it's going in. Now, will the stairs go back in? That's the question. Oh, they do. Okay. So, now you know what to do if that happens. <laughs> put the wall in first. Even though last time I did this, I put this the, the lower walls in, then the stairs, then the upper walls. And it worked just fine. Go figure. Whatever. Okay. Put the roof back on. Okay, there. Now, yeah, a lot of people, um, well, not a lot of people, I guess. I shouldn't say that because it's not true. Some people um, have told me that I should skip skip it when um, something goes wrong, when I'm trying to figure out a problem because they think it's boring. And I'm sorry if you feel that way. Um, if, it's, if it takes up a lot of extra time, I will skip it, but if I have it resolved pretty quickly, I, I I'm just I I prefer not to skip. Um, the reason being is that, you know, you might encounter these problems when you're building yourself, and if you might not know how to fix them, and so it's it helpful to see other people work through the problems, then you can know how to work through them as well. If, if, I, if I cut out all those parts, then you wouldn't learn anything. Um, or at least you wouldn't learn as much. And so that's why I want to keep that in here. Um, if, if it ends up being a part that I have to troubleshoot for a long time, I'll cut out most of it, but I'll keep in the part where I figure it out. And yeah, anyway, that's just why. All right, so now, we're going to put um, another full-sized walls here. Um, so that one should be a, uh, that one should be a door because we're going to put the upper floor up there. But this floor is going to be lower. Um, yeah, so we're going to put the roof here. And um, I am going to put a tall wall. I think a tall wall. Yeah. It's a tall wall that is right here. So, like that. And then um, we'll put in roofs. Here. Here. Then, um, we'll put a wall here and here. And, um, the roof that I want up there is the, the one that looks like this, except to make sure it's closed on both ends. This one's open, so, there. like that. And we'll, we'll put the floor in once I get stairs on that side because you can't put floors in without the stairs first. <laughs> oh, and I need to put this floor back. Um, I mean wall. <sighs> I need to put this wall back. There. Alright, let me go out and double check. Make sure that it is all correct. Yes. That's how it should look. It should be a full wall size height there and a full and half here. Double check to make sure it looks good on this side. Good. Now the reason why I have it tapering towards the top, where, where I have it um, skinnier at the top than at the bottom, is because I think it looks better, <laughs> to be honest. I originally built it um, having it four squares um, all the way up, and it just looked, I don't know, it just looked wrong. That's the only way I can explain it. It just looked wrong. Anyways, alright. 
now let's get the rest of the roof on. So we need to um, actually it'd be easier if I went up there. This, just in case you know, and you have the marsupial mutation, it's easiest to jump up right here because it is the highest point. Just that sometimes you do miss. But I think I had it a little bit lower the first time I built this because I used to be able to could jump up there without missing. There. Anyway. Um, now we need to get the um, these ones to put right here. Put one here on this end and one on this end and then in the middle this. And then um, I'll have the peaked roof with the one that's open on one side right there and right there and then we'll put the regular roof pieces or the slanted roof pieces oh whoops yes it is not a build of mine unless i fall right or unless i can't make a jump there okay and i'll go back on there okay on this side. Just go on. Come on. <laughs> it's always got to be facing a weird way or trying to snap in a way that every uh, every which way that it that it tries to snap except the way I want it to snap. You know what I mean? It's just typical. Okay. Trying to be lighthearted and cheery while wow, I'm frustrated to the hilt. <laughs> anyway, now in here we have, I, I put a staircase in here. Um, the one that has the stair on the right side up against the wall. And I put an upper floor up here and you really, like you don't have to do this. It will save you build budget if you don't. Um, but I thought it was, I don't know, I just, it, it, it felt kind of, um, huge and open, like it just felt too cavernous without it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, that's how I felt. And so you can put this here if you want, but you can totally leave it out because I actually didn't put anything up here. I just did it for the look. Um, I originally thought maybe I'd put my crafting workbenches up here and maybe you would like to do that if you build this. Um, but I didn't because I did want them in other places, but also because the see-through floor and looking up and seeing crafting workbenches up there, just it felt weird to me. But maybe it wouldn't feel weird to you and you'd be fine with it. Now, the reason I'm putting see-through floors is, well, one, this stair has a see-through floor and it just looks better um if they're all see-through but also because for immersion's sake because we're putting windows up here and so that the plants have light and if there's a solid floor up here they will block the light from the windows and yeah i know um you don't really need to do that in this game because the plants will grow without light but it's for immersion and so if you don't care about immersion go ahead and put solid floors in and you know you need to put windows in um my first version of this didn't have windows but i kept thinking it looked kind of funny so i decided to put windows in all right there so windows all the way around like that now the reason i don't put windows down below um is because then enemies with guns can shoot your crops through them and that is the only reason i'm not putting windows down below so, um, the only enemy that can actually reach your crops is mole rats. When you have a wall like this, um, only mole rats can, you know, reach your crops, come up underneath the ground. If you live in an area where there are rad scorpions, they can do that too. Um, but generally it'll just be mole rats. And I did have one mole rat come up here and start chewing on my crops, but, um, yeah, it's not very common, depending on where you, where you have your camp, of course. 
But anyway, if you have windows, enemies with guns like Scorched and Super Mutants will shoot through the windows and destroy your crops. So put windows in at your own risk. Okay, now we're going to put the roof on. But first we need the slanted wall thingy. Like this. And then we can put the roof on. <laughs> Come on. Okay. And um, also the peaked roof will go here. Um, oh wait. <clears throat> wait a second. This isn't supposed to be there. I remember now. That is supposed to be, <clears throat> excuse me, a solid wall. Um, a solid um, wood one. Yeah, solid wood wall is supposed to go there instead. There. Okay, that's better. Now we can put the peak roof on. Peaked roof on. Like this. And then get the one that's got a seat, got a pass through a little rafter on both ends and then when it's closed on one end for this side. There. And then we can put on the other roof pieces. Like that. Now I'm going to lose my daylight, looks like. Okay, then we can put on um You don't have to put uh, one there like this. You can, but you don't really need it. And it'll save you build budget if you don't. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. And then, um, yeah, so you can put a window there if you want, but I'm not gonna. There. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. There's the upper part. So we got this whole section finished. And I'm not going to put a stair in because um, it will make it so that there's not enough room for crops. And I actually put my, my armor workbench down there. So it's just better if you don't. And you don't really need stairs anyways. But that's the gist of the building. Now... <clears throat> we're gonna put the posts here and to do that we need a floor and so I I know I've done this a couple times in other videos but if you haven't watched any of my other videos I will show you how to do this again so posts snap on um, they don't snap on to actual corners like they, they snap on next to the corner or in the middle but not on the corner where normal people put posts <laughs> So to, to, um, to put them on the actual corners, get um, one of these floors, or any floor, it could be a full-size floor, or I like to use these, um, because the posts will snap to the middles, like I said already, which means that they will snap to the middle of the small floor. And then if you take it off, it stays, and it's on, it's on the actual corner. And I think it just looks so much better that way. So then you just move it down and place another one. Move it down and place another one. You just keep moving it down until you got them all in. And so you just make it straddle the corner between the two like so. And then of course on the end it sticks out like that. And there. Make sure you scrap that if you're trying to save on build budget once you're done with it. Like this. And I think that looks so much better. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have scrapped that because I actually need to put one right here too. I almost forgot. This is where the... Um, 
uh, you know, the, the uh, what's it called? Water purifier. That's what I was looking for. Water purifier is going to go here. Um, and I'm going to put a post here, though, as well. And a small one down below. There. Now. Now I can scrap that one. <laughs> there. And just a little um, cover for the water purifier. And I will put that in right now. Let's see. Water. The one that, um, you know, obviously the one that goes on the ground instead of in water. And stick it back into the corner as far as it will go. Come on. Okay. It actually might be easier to place this without the pro stand. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense. <laughs> oh, come on. Why isn't it not going in? Oh, it's already pretty close to the house. I didn't realize how close it was. But it, now it won't even go farther away. Huh. Oh well. All I wanted to do was move it back. Come on. At least do that. Why isn't it going in? <sighs> I'll try again. Sometimes if you um, store it and then start again from scratch, it'll go in better. Sometimes. Like if, it, like if it's red and it just won't place and you think it should, just start over and it often will work. Okay, and like I said, it did. Okay, let me put the post back in. And then go into defenses and get a fence piece right here just to help protect it from the rodents I know it's not 100% protection because there's not one on the front but it does help a little bit you can always put one on the front but it would look dumb <laughs> and then you wouldn't be able to reach your water purifier all right so there's the basic um, that is the building that is the full building, completely finished. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I do that all the time, don't I? I'll say, oh, it's finished. And then I'll be like, wait a minute. No, it's not. Anyway, no, we had to put the uh, stairs to the upper floor. Uh, so let's do that. Um, first, we need floors. And I'm going to put a few, few foundations back here. Now, the reason I didn't put these in originally when I was putting in the foundations is because I wanted the room separation. It would be just, it was just easier for me to visualize with those not in. So, <laughs> that's why. And then get some stairs and uh, put in a stair like this. And then a floor. Now, I wanted to put in one of these, I really did. I wanted to put in one of these, um, like right here. Because it looks good, doesn't it? It looks really great. But it doesn't reach the door up there. And I suppose you could stack them. Um, you know, stack one on top of the other. There is a technique on how to do that. I've never done it myself, to be honest. But I have seen other people do it. So I know how it's done. I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to bother because once you do that, once you stack those stair foundation thingies, the stair frames, you can't take them down again unless you dismantle the entire build. Like even you can't take a single wall or other piece off and like redo it if you accidentally make a mistake. And so I just didn't want to bother with it in this particular build because it's not that important. You know what I mean? I'm not... The whole build isn't relying on that, so I decided to just leave it. Okay, anyways, enough chitter chatter about things. Let's, uh, okay, that was odd. I couldn't walk up there for some reason, but now I can. Okay, then put another stair here. <clears throat> now, another thing I really wanted to do, but I couldn't, 
was put the bottom stair coming off of this end and coming down this way because I think it would just look better a little bit more compact up against the building you know what I mean but you can't snap the stairs onto the short sides of the short walls hmm that was kind of frustrating to me but I suppose you could do this and instead you could put a um, a big wall I mean a big a big one there and have it hmm that might be better actually now I know this isn't wasn't in the actual um, original build that I did but I just had inspiration while I was while I was rebuilding this let's see how it works let's see if it looks good this way come on go on there I mean I'm sure it will there's not any reason why it wouldn't right oh you know why it won't oh no wait it will And then or up here. Um, I'm going to put the um, eh, I'll do a big floor. It it will save on build budget, I think. I think it will. Does does I actually <laughs> I'm actually curious. Um, if anybody knows this, I don't know if anybody knows this. Um, our single floor, our f double wide floors, full size, I should say, floors and walls even, the same build budget as a half wall. Is a half wall the same build budget as a full size wall or floor? Like if I built two half size floors here instead of one big one, are they the same or more? I'm curious. I don't know. I'm assuming that they're the same, but. That is, uh, yeah, that's a curious idea. Hmm. Anyway, so that so you can do it that way. I actually like that better than the way I had it before. I don't know why I didn't do it this way to begin with. Now, the problem with this, though, is that um, you might not be able to put a post in. Let's see. So I had a post coming down from the side. Oh. You can't. Well, isn't that wonderful? So, you guys. Now, you can't put posts here because it'll go into the, the floor. Or into the roof. But I, I do I did, bleh. I do have uh, something else that I was going to put there instead. So, I'll show you that in a little while. Um, here, let's put a... Let's put it on the corner. That'll make it look better. Um, like that. Oh, you guys, I like that so much better. What do you know? <laughs> All right. So you can build it that way, or you can build it the way I had it originally. Um, just rewind the video and go see how I did it before. But yeah, I do like that way better. All right. So now, um, let me just see if I can get up here. Yay. Okay, so now, yeah, you can't put a post on this side, and so that makes it so that that is floating. But what I did was I got a... Yeah, I go over to power connectors, and it was like um, this one. Just a regular or tall power pylon. And I just put it up as close as I could get it to this so that it's kind of looks like it's attached and it just i know it's not actually supporting it but it just makes it look like it's supporting and when you come down here and look at it from a distance it actually doesn't look bad so that's what i did just to you know and you also can't tell from down there that this um <laughs> the foot the bottom of it is floating a little bit so all right, so, but we also want to put um, railings. So, let's do that. Down there, and there. There! Okay. 
yes, I like how that turned out a lot better. All right, now that is the basic build. Um, other than the, this thing, we should put this here. Okay, so <clears throat> don't put it too far back or it will clip into your building. Um, and it will go pretty far in before it turns red. So put it on the middle floor square. That's that's probably the best place for it is on the middle floor square. Make sure it's actually on the floor and not floating above it. And if you put it on the middle one, so there's one, two, three, you put it on the middle one, um, it won't clip in. And uh, good. There. Now, that is the basic build, you guys. You don't really need to know anything else, except I will show you how to wire up this place because um, I like to do that. If there's any wiring in my builds, I do like to show you how to wire it up. Because a lot of people, if I don't show you how, a lot of people will ask me. So I, I do like to do that. Um, obviously you use this one, but also, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, go to power connectors. Also, I used this one. Now, I, I use this one for aesthetic purposes only, pretty much, um, because I like how it kind of looks like a telephone pole. And so I just liked the look of it. I think I thought it looked kind of cool coming off of the roof. Then um, we're going to get, um, where is it? Uh, oh, it's up here. <clears throat> I don't know why they have two menus for the power connectors. I wish they only had one. But anyways, I'm going to put that right here. And make sure it's straight because we're going to attach a long one to it and it'll be crooked if it's not straight. What do you know? So <laughs> put a long one on. Um, or maybe a medium one? Yeah, medium, medium one will, will work fine too. Because you don't want it to stick out the front, so then go to the uh, where is it? To the front. There it is. This thing. This is the conduit radiator that will um, radiate power out here, and that will light up the sign. What? No! Don't shut down my server. While I'm making a video, I have 19 minutes, you guys. I have to hurry. Well, surely I'll be done by then. Anyways, that'll line up the sign and the porch light and stuff that is on this end. And if you want to light up this room back here, I would just do the same thing. Make a conduit coming off this way. Or you can do wires. It doesn't really matter. You can put a, put a conduit here and drape a wire across. I just want to use conduits for aesthetic reasons. Okay, this is kind of annoying me that I have a timer going now and I have to hurry up. Okay, now for, for the rest of it, we are going to get, where is it? This one. And put it approximately right here where the corner of the roof is coming down. Because I think it just looks nicer right there right up against the wall. Actually, it would look nicer if it was slightly off to the side. For reasons I'll show you later. Okay, then, I think, <coughs> I think that's how it's gonna work. Then get the big, um, oh wait, first get where are they? Why do they have to have two menus? The small one, right there, then get the big one and put it in right like that, okay? And then the um, downward facing conduit, snap that right there and then attach the wire like so. And now, the reason I'm doing it like that is because from down here, it just looks kind of cool. It looks like it's attached to the, the generator via a pipe 
I don't know. I just like it. So that's why I'm doing it. Because I like it. And that's the main reason you should do anything <laughs> when you're building. Oh, come on. Just let me get up there already. Oops. Yeah, no, don't try to jump when you're pointing at a, a powered object. It won't work. Okay. Then get a small one, a small curved one. There. And then again the downward facing one. Right. That. And then you can connect. Uh, whoops. Make sure you have the conduit selected. Then you can connect your uh, purifier to that. Now, if for some reason you're trying to place one of these down, uh, these <clears throat> conduits that go through walls and floors, sometimes they don't want to place. I, I noticed there's like a bug where sometimes they won't place. And it's not because they're intersecting with anything or any reason like that. It'll just, like, you push the button and nothing happens. It doesn't even give you a message. It just won't place. It's a bug. And if that happens, just exit the build menu and then come back in, and it should place again after that. I have no idea why it does that. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, that's how you light up that end. Did somebody just shoot a laser gun at me, or was that some weird thing? I don't know what that was. It looked like a laser gun shot. Anyway, come over to this side, and we'll light up this end of the of it by doing a similar thing. Um, let me see. We need the straight one. The long straight one. Now, laying these on roofs is kind of tricky sometimes, okay? <sighs> Annoyingly so. Um, I'm going to put it out about that far. I think. Let's make sure. Before you do any of the rest, make sure get the big bendy one again and put it on and it should work there no, that's fine it's all right if it clips through it's not a big deal but you know you can change it if you want it's, it looks fine to me but <coughs> these kind of sometimes sink in it's like they're not straight if you lay it across the roof sometimes one end will sink into the roof and that is the most frustrating thing ever when you're trying to put these down and because if it's sinking, it won't let you snap it on. But um, looks like it's going to not be a problem this time. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? I am going to move it just a little bit. Move it in a little ways. Okay. Um, let's see if it'll snap on with the large one. Good. Now the medium one. These. Nope. See? Because it's sinking in. See how it's sunk in halfway right there? so annoying. You kind of have to just, um, you kind of just have to fiddle with it until it works. It's, you, um, you can move it up and down the roof, sort of angle it differently, and then you, know, you just kind of have to just keep testing it, moving it, fiddling with it a little bit here and there. Have it just sticking out like a little bit on that end so that you can put one of these downward facing ones here on the end of it, like that. And then hopefully this one will snap in. Nope. Okay. Oh, anyways, okay. I don't have time to fiddle with this on this server, obviously, but you get the gist. Um, you gotta get the, um, no, where is it? The curved one. There it is. The big curved one. Put it on like that and then get the downward facing one again, like so, and connect the two together 
and that'll power up this end. And you'll have this conduit going all the way out here like I showed you with the downward facing one coming down. And then you're going to want to put um, a regular conduit on the wall, um, one of these kinds, um, on the wall here approximately, and then wire that to the one that's coming off the edge up there. And that is the wiring for this build. And that's all there is to it, really. I mean, <laughs> I make that sound easy. Yeah, it's kind of a pain to place those up there. But now the reason I did it was for the aesthetic of these pipes coming out of the building. And actually, I even added, oops, <laughs> I even added more um, just for the look of it. Um, you don't have to do this part because it does use up build budget. But I actually got another one and put it... Uh, right here just for fun just for absolutely no other reason than that it kind of looks cool to have it there <laughs> and uh, that's you know you can do that if you want you surely don't have to anyways <laughs> sorry I couldn't uh, get the the conduit figured out uh, but I am running out of time so I am uh, going to end the video now and that is the build, everyone. What do you guys think? I would love to know down in the comments. I actually really like how it turned out. I think, I mean, you know, personally, I think it's a very nice looking aesthetic with the um, with the porch and the windmill on top. I just, I really like how it turned out. I think it's, yeah, I think it's great. Anyways, um, if you guys have an exceptional build that you would like to show off to the world, or at least, you know, a few thousand people. Um, like, you, an exceptional build, meaning one that's heavily decorated or has a really cool design that you don't see very often, that kind of thing. If you have a build like that and would like it featured in a video on my channel, then go on over to my subscriber Discord server and you can post some screenshots of it there and I might uh, choose it for my next camp tour. Um, I've been super busy lately, so I haven't been doing any um, extra videos. I consider camp tours extra because I don't have a schedule for them like I do for my Let's Plays and stuff. But next time I am able to make one, I might pick yours, who knows? Anyways, go on over there and do that if you have a camp that you would like people to see. Anyway, you guys, if you would like to support my channel, you can do that by following the links in the description to my Patreon and Coffee pages. Oh, and the link to my Discord server is down there as well. And to my other social media, um, Facebook, uh, Twitter, that kind of thing. If you want to follow me and keep up to date with what I'm doing. Anyway, you guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.